Hi, I'm Danny. I'm with Max USA. We're here to talk about high pressure guns. We have a number of guns that will shoot into concrete and to steel. Most are curious. Here's an LVL being shot into quarter inch steel. One right after another. So think about replacing shell actuated, powder actuated scenarios. First thing, where's the shell? Is the guy licensed? How do you dispose of them? And God forbid, do you leave a live shell on a job site? Here I can shoot and do the same thing. I have 50 pins that I have. Now if you notice carefully, they are what we call a ballistic point. They're basically a step nail. So it's a hardened nail that gives us the opportunity to pierce the steel. But if you're lifting this, that's quarter inch steel, yes. as well as an LVL that's attached to it, and we are easily shooting through that. What capacities, what length fasteners can we use with this Great system? question. This one here, we have a small lightweight gun. This one here will do a three quarter inch up to a one inch. This is a dynamite gun for my drywall guys that are shooting cold rolled steel against the concrete walls, ceilings, walls, and floors, because I have a three quarter inch or a one inch. I also have a three quarter inch that will pierce in steel. So light gauge metals being shot into steel are great with this gun. Awesome. But I get a hundred pins here. So you talk about production, in this environment here, I get 50 pins and I go from one inch up to two inch into steel, wow. two and a half inch into concrete. We only need three quarter of an inch into the embedment into the concrete, so that's what am I attaching to the concrete. But the nicest conversation about the high pressure t guns is we have a lightweight compressor at 32 pounds. The biggest complaint about any hose that's out there in the marketplace all hoses, it's the kink, it's the kink, it's the, wait a minute, what wow. just happened? This is Kevlar, this is a hose, this extension here is a 50 foot or 100 foot. The beautiful thing here is, if I pop this out, is when I need to go to longer job sites, I can link them together and lock them together. Wow. So they won't come off. Compressors go to the service department because of two primary reasons. Dirty power, fluctuations in power. We have a chip on board that'll adjust. It's happiest at 12 amps. It's already, how many, I mean, that's a 15 amp standard plug. Sure. So we're operating already low. But when it's running, if we hear this thing, uh, it will automatically adjust for the electricity it's receiving. So it'll drop down to seven amps automatically. Really? How's that? That's awesome, right? You, you and I can have a conversation over this compressor. Wow. Isn't that amazing? It is amazing. More importantly, I can be in, in, indoors and I can turn this down. So now if I'm working indoors, we'll be able to fire. Remember, it's running slower and longer, but we're still able to accomplish the same thing. But even outdoors, sure. this is quieter than any other compressor you got out there. The best part about it is I can run a number of these guns simultaneously. We also have fittings for 100 PSI, but remember, 100 PSI is yesterday's technology. It's older and it's wasteful. We're shooting, all of them have exhaust ports on the top. 100% of that air is exhausted out. In our world here, when we shoot, we recapture 70% of the previous air shot. So, we use less electricity, we're quieter, we're lighter, we have lighter weight guns that are using standard pins in the marketplace. This is a new frame. Can wow. you imagine going to any of the big box stores, picking up the hardened nails, and being able to go into tight places, and look at this, this is an LVL, okay? The difference with an LVL is to be able to seat all of those pins. That's oh, yeah. what's most important. Most guys, they'll shoot three, six, nine, and then they start to step. And someone's gotta follow you with a hammer. Right. Right? Sure. So the brilliance here is, what's the value when you don't have to have someone following you with a hammer? Time. Time is money. Yes, I'd right. like to do it right the first time. So my question is, what, what PSI do these operate at? 500 PSI is what the machine is cal moving up to. Okay. These are running about three and a quarter. All of these are about three and a quarter. So, but the nicest part about it is this is for my tough stuff, and you can feel the weight here, but it's 50 to a shot. Oh, yeah. This is my lightweight gun, so think about overhead work. Sure. When I'm a concrete guy or I'm going to be doing into lightweight steel. Definitely. But this should be end of story. I can tell you, I've been using I've been using track face gun you bet. for for hat track and, and things of that nature. I, I'm just going to be honest. I didn't realize this was an alternative. I didn't realize this is awesome. Great technology. Other things that make life easier. 
You see I have black washers, you see I have white washers. Yes. Black washers are piercing. You saw that ballistic tip, that's for steel. White washers are for shooting into concrete. Specialty work that I have out there is when I'm shooting steel to steel. Wow. Just like if you were in the woodworking world, if I'm gonna put a nail in here, I'm gonna hold it in place and tap it. This one here, what's unique is, is I have the nail, I have a throat or a sleeve, and then I have a washer. Like a pop rivet, this is gonna end up being its washer. Yes. But what's different is it's now holding that, because if I'm shooting into steel, it wants to slide away, right? So I'm holding it in place and then it becomes the washer allows me to do steel to steel applications or more importantly work with old concrete hard very hard so when you look at guys that are doing old concrete you can see them they're shooting that track up into the ceiling and you'll see what's the misfire ratio because those are the holes without sure. a pin are they getting six out of ten are they getting seven out of ten we're going to have a much higher ratio shooting these into old concrete and that's a difficult difficult marketplace out there the hose is amazing. When we push this on, we also can twist to lock it on. And look at that 360. Great conversations. Now, if you listen, high pressure, that exhaust, all of our tools, and even our 100 PSI has a filter on the bottom. Okay. Because where do we know that this hose ends up on a job site? On the ground. On the ground. What do we do when we pick it up? We blow all that garbage up inside the hose. Yeah, so or, this has or, a, a filter built in. Filter built in, but we don't want to retard that over. Yeah. And that's the biggest challenge why, again, we're sending tools to service. These are the little things that if you can build tools correctly, you know, if the tool's 10, 15% more, you don't have to ask difficult questions. Usually the quality of the components, the tighter the tolerance, giving you the better duty life, and then the little safety features that give you a little longer life. That's pretty awesome. That is pretty awesome. But we want to talk about saving time and money. Let's be realistic. That's... That is literally amazing. So two different ways we're doing it. No more shell actuated or power actuated. And the second conversation is, when I'm working with iron, red iron steel, quarter inch on the outside, three quarter on the center, right? How do you work and build off of that? I need to put some wood against this thing. Sure. How are they applying the wood? Well, there's a bit, there's a drill, both under great fatigue. There's a battery also being heated up and cooked up, and there's a poor guy at the other end of it, right? Right. How would you like to be able to put it up a patink, patink, patink? And the difference is, is time is money, and the guys, we have shearing force conversations, we have the data if somebody needs it, so I have sure. to send it to you. So the, she the shear force should be very, I mean. Try to take that I off. mean shear, but then they. they shear down, shear, down, shear and then, off. Right. I mean, that, that's amazing. I, I mean, the shear down is probably phenomenal. It's no different than the screw. Right. Shear, and shear away, seam. Pull it out, and remember, how do you secure wood? Sometimes you shoot it at a bit of an angle that way and that way. Oh, yeah. Good luck. Yeah, pretty Good much. Good luck pulling that off. It's a different option that it's out there, and your guys should be aware of it. It's amazing. That is literally amazing. You imagine some air, some air just fired the, those pins through steel. And I feel like air that shoots pin through steels and smash the like button. Also, if it's your first time here, you're not already. Get subscribed and tap the bell. Why do you want to tap the bell? So you never miss when we meet unbelievable guys like Danny here from Max that share these cool tools with us. With that, I want to say I appreciate every single one of you being here. Thanks a lot, everybody. We'll see you all on the next one. Video's over, but I know you want more. So this is how you're going to get it. First thing you need to do is pretend you're this guy. And you're here at the birthplace of freedom. Now ring that bell like it's 1776 and let all notifications throw. What? You're not subscribed yet? Well, smash this button here. After that, watch this video here, here, and maybe over here. See you later.